second year at U of H and it's a great experience. That's what I believe. Ready, go Cougs. <laughs> Memphis is never, ever, ever going to forget the day that the Cougars came in and absolutely wrecked shop. So, uh, I know about 50% or more of this band has not played since our last rehearsal. <laughs> Quiet over there. And clean up your language. You're on TV. Seriously. Well, I never thought I'd be a college band director. So a college band director that had the opportunity to take a, a band to the Liberty Bowl and perform in front of thousands of people and on live and on TV. It was a wonderful experience. Uh, my name is David Burtman, and I'm the director of bands at the University of Houston. You know, the most important thing about taking a band or a cheer and dance to a bowl is making sure every student uh, has the opportunity to go. And uh, the financial aspect, uh, the time, making sure that, that the students have enough time to get home, come back and, and have some rehearsal time and, and you know get on a bus and enjoy the trip and, and, and have it be more than just work for them. I think those are the challenges that all directors face when they take their their bands and cheerleaders and dance teams. Oh, you don't have to, to stand a at a chimpanzee. You're gonna be teachers helpers. <laughs> Would you help me find the people that can't put their interests up as quick? Ready? Ready? Stand at attention everybody. And deek 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 deek. Did you see anybody that wasn't together? Robert didn't. Robert. <laughs> Robert. Let's try it again. Ready? Now, you stay right here. You all do it with them now. See if you can do it with them looking at them. Ready? And one, two, listen, and deek, 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 deek. Wow, boys, you're good. Go back. <laughs> all right. David Burtman is a unique individual. Our, our uh, band secretary, uh, Miss Reisinger, um, you know, what, something she says often is that it takes a village to, to take care of David Burtman. And My name is Ryan Heath. I'm a senior music education major here at U of H. And uh, this is my fourth year in the marching band. I've spent the last three of those as one of the drum majors. Okay. Supposed to be here? We're going to we, we're, we're load after. But whichever bus we decide on. Because the cheer and everything is on the first one. Um, what we'll do is, when we're loading the buses, we'll dismiss seniors first. Um, this room right now is filled with what I call and what is known on this campus as the Spirit of Houston. The Spirit of Houston is not just the band. And it's not just the cheerleaders, it's not just the dancers, it's not just the frontiersmen, it's not just the twirlers, it's not just the mascot. The spirit of Houston is every one of you. You are extremely important. You're a valuable commodity to this university. You are the symbol. And you're the, one of the few things that connects us to the tradition and, and the true uh, pageantry and excitement of collegiate football. And so I want to start out by telling every one of you how wonderful it is and how excited it is to take over 300 people, the spirit of Houston, to a, a major bowl for us, a conference championship bowl, the Liberty Bowl, and what an exciting and fun experience it's going to be. So congratulations on the work you've done all semester to earn this and be a part of this. All right? So I'm very happy about that. This part, well, you should be happy too. Guys, represent the University of Houston.
because of what the university band can do and be. It's a cross section of everybody. It's music majors. It's everybody from. It's it's a mini university. You know, the 300 or so plus people with cheer and dance. They're from all aspects of the university. They represent the diversity. They represent the different colleges. They represent the different majors, and they're coming together for one common cause, and that is to be the symbol of tradition and spirit and energy uh, at the University of Houston. I went to the Fort Worth Bowl game, and that was that was pretty fun. But it wasn't real. It wasn't real big. It was just kind of like an overnight stay. This time, I felt like a lot of enthusiasm about everybody else and going there. We were just real excited with all our wins, and it was probably the funnest trip I've been on. My name is Matt Stolt, S T O L T, no Z. But uh, I play trumpet and I'm a sophomore. It was a long trip, it was like 14 hours or 12 hours. I, that's like a, it was like a, what, a 12 hour drive or something like that. I think most of us tried to, to, to sleep as much as we could the way there and, and the, you know, the way we left, we left early in the morning and band trips on a bus are, are always a blast and you never quite know what to expect. You can't sleep because I keep on hearing somebody cackle back there. <laughs> Cackling of little girls. Talking about Cheetos and what else we all talking about. Cheetos! Oh, how about you go? Uh, hi, I'm Michael Kruger. I'm a senior. I play tuba. And uh, we just uh, stopped at some rest stop. I think we're in Arkansas somewhere. So, technically, we're right there. Oh, right outside of Texas. But I don't even know exactly where we are. But uh, everybody's getting some fresh air, walking around. Some people getting snacks. A lot of people had to use the bathroom. Just long drive, so. Yeah, it's love all the way to Texas. Because I didn't get any sleep last night because we're just all so excited for the bowl game. So far, our bus driver hasn't fallen asleep. What do you like about the Gamecocks? Not a damn thing! There you go. some fine Arkansas reading material from the bus. Uh, you know, I know some people on other buses. Uh, you know, from what I hear, it was, it was a good, fun time. Well, Mr. Burtman, what are your expectations for <laughs> this bowl game? Wonderful performances and a big time victory for the university. So what are your expectations? My expectations are we kick ass and take Well put. Hard I, no problems, no problems for us. I know, uh, <laughs> I know, I know some of the other folks had uh, had some issues with their rooms when they checked in of not quite being clean and and uh, some things were left in there that were a little questionable. But you know, we all got settled in and and 
you know, no problems for, for me, no problems with any of our, uh, of any of the U of H, U of H band members. Everyone conducted themselves real well, and I think had a real good time. Hey, go Coop! the game cops. I hope y'all win. I couldn't find the pool. I couldn't find the weight room, so I just walked around my bathing suit pretty much the whole night. But that's okay, because I met some people from the South Carolina band, and they were, I didn't know, like, they're called the Cox. They're like the Game Cox. So we had fun with that all night. Hey, wait, I need to get a. I think the hotel was uh, great. Um, it was a little further out. You know, we'd love to be right in the center of everything, but probably being that, you know, there's so many students, it was great for us to be a little way. Uh, we had the other band was there, so the kids got to meet other kids, and I love that aspect. In fact, there are lifelong friendships, as a matter of fact. Uh, one young man, a trumpet player, uh, is dating now someone from South Carolina, and I, there may be impending wedding bells. So that's a, that will be a neat story if that happens. <clears throat> I'm Matt Stoltness and Barson are day two of Memphis, Tennessee journey. Everybody was pretty much good. We had a good night, got some sleep. So um, today what we got to look forward to is some practice. It's gonna suck. Then we got <laughs> lunch, which is gonna be great. And then we start a parade and Jackie Battle's gonna be screamed out the whole time. And, and Jackie Battle's gonna be there by my side, holding up the Yokus. Yeah, and then tonight's gonna be another crazy night, so I suggest you stick around, come with us. It's been a lot of fun so far. We got a practice coming up this morning. Uh, the SC band is here, and uh, we're looking forward to get going. We got the parade this afternoon, party tonight, bowl game tomorrow. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Tell you what, man, if we win, Throw on the instrument up there. If we lose, we'll throw it down on the ground. But either way, it's going away from me. You know what our game plan is? This is our game plan. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna stop high. Stop high. Stop high. Stop, stop, stop low. Stop low. Stop, stop high. high. Stop Boy, this has been a great adventure traveling with the band. Uh, enjoyed watching them warm up this morning. They sound great. They're getting ready for a great performance tomorrow at the Liberty Bowl, and I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. If you do this. Right block, and I want you to, be able to find it and look good without yard lines. So we're going to practice a couple things here uh, today because I want to be able to play a short concert in the parade if they allow us. That was a really wonderful moment. I have to tell you, that might have been one of the best rehearsals with the marching band I've had in 20 years. You know, they went in there, they practiced, they rehearsed, they were serious, they had fun, the weather was perfect. Um, you couldn't ask for anything more. And I called people. I could, we sounded great. Uh, it was really, uh, I, I called, I don't remember who I called. Uh, I said I just had the uh, greatest rehearsal with the University of Houston marching band since I've been here. And it was neat. The kids were uh, really on. They were, they were sincere about their efforts in performing uh, and entertaining. It was great. I cannot tell you how good you are. I, I know that some of you have been in fantastic drum corps. I have taught them, and I have taught you that have been in them, and I am telling you, I mean, this is it. I mean, you are a real high-level college marching band, and don't let anybody online or anybody say anything different, because I am very impressed with what you're doing. Kevin Kopp, number four, 
There you go. Ulrich. Right. Number 22, that's my man. That's my man. This is the part where we're heading right set up in the parade. Jackie Battle's close. I'm not obsessed with Jackie Battle, I just think that kid is one cool cat. I'll tell you what, Jackie Battle, he's my homeboy. We eat breakfast together. Jackie Battle lives in here, like I said. Jackie Battle. 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 And Jackie Battle. 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 You know what else? This is Julie Dahl. She's on dance team here. Awesome. We're gonna be at the game tomorrow, I guess who we're gonna see. Jackie Battle. Jackie Battle's the man! Oh man, I loved it. I, I screamed, lost my voice. A parade was just fun. I'd go up to people, slap hands with them. I'd go up to the South Carolina fans and just dance with them and they'd be like, what are you doing? I'd be like, yeah, go coos. It, it was just a great time just to go out there and have fun and yell random stuff. Jackie Battle. Yeah. Holman. You know, you know who we are? Marching band? Spirit of Houston marching band. <laughs> We're playing in the bowl game. Are you? Yeah. You want to know who you're going to be rooting for? American. Number 27, Jackie Battle. Say it to the camera. Jackie Battle. Jackie Battle. energy when you get people like that, even when it's an opposing team, you know. Oh, the parade was crazy. Uh, the parade was great. Um, there's nothing like being in a parade where it's just packed with fans. Uh, fa UH fans, South Carolina fans, it was, um, and that's what you want. That's that collegiate atmosphere, that's that excitement, people uh, rooting for their team, but doing it in a manner that is still positive for everybody. We're in a different city in a different state, but there's a whole bunch of people from Texas there with you, and they're all U of H fans. Uh, you know, it was like being with your, it was like being with your family, and uh, that was a blast. Uh, we we uh, we played loud and and had a really good time with that. I know that everyone that was there, uh, just regular fans that were there in attendance for that, were really appreciative of what we did. It was crowded. It was pretty cool, hard to get in, really crowded. Well, now Pat O'Brien's, that was a, just a, <laughs> I mean, it's too, it was too small, too packed, too crazy uh, not to have a great time, okay? It was very crowded, trying to get in from the parade through all the South Carolina fans, and then a lot of U of H people who were really hungry, saw the food, were trying to get in. Um, it was, it was jam-packed, but once we got in, it was, it was a blast.
So, you know, if you didn't like noisy, if you didn't like, uh, uh, you know, we went in the wrong door, evidently. It would have been easier, but are you kidding? What, what better place have a bunch of cougars, rowdy cougars, I might add, a bunch of band members, rowdy and out of control band members, I might add, uh, and hungry, food and uh, the people that were 21 and above were having a great time. Are you kidding? Pat O'Brien's served uh, its purpose very well. The end of the parade, the energy just continued. A lot of beautiful women. A lot of beautiful women. Uh, the food was good. Uh, eventually it got pretty late and uh, you know I was walking around and I was asking for a Coke and they're like, sorry, no alcohol. I was like, I just want a Coke, man. But uh, it, was, it was pretty fun. It's, I've never been in an environment like that. I haven't been out staying late. It kind of felt like we were performing a concert. You know, it's dark in there, everybody's just crowded around. We're just having a fun time. time for the kids to experience uh, Memphis a little bit and have a good time and I think they handled that uh, maturely. At least I had no cause, which was a good thing. Bradley Thomas, I'm old and that's all you need to know and I play trumpet, the only instrument that matters and this is the Liberty Bowl. And you have permission to put me on the screen. <laughs> you have to say your first last name. You have my first and last name, Elizabeth Morgan. I'm in the guard. And you have permission to put me on. Listen carefully. I, I hope everybody had a good time. I know that some of you had more than others. Some of you, you did not have a good time, okay? But I hope that the ones that did not have a good time will then have all the energy that we need uh, mm -hmm. to feed off of. Now listen carefully. Well, I wanted just to remind you that like, this is stuff that everybody's worked for. There's 5,000 UH people, 25,000 or more Southern Car South Carolina. It shouldn't matter if we do our job with energy and excitement. So if you need to conserve now, that's fine. But when it's time, I expect the spirit of Houston to be there. So you know what else? I'm not, I'm not afraid. I think they got a good band, but I think we got a great band. Okay, now we're gonna beat them. We're gonna beat them hard. Conducting the band, it's it's an amazing experience in in every way. Uh, I mean, we, we have a great group. Um, one of our trademarks is how well we play. Uh, as far as the battle of bands goes, it's really not going to be much of a contest. Uh, it's it's really well known that Texas has the best bands in the nation. We have a lot of fans there. And the University of Houston's different. The band sound is different than a lot of other band sounds. And uh, sometimes people will think we're not as loud as another band, but they always seem to like the way we sound. It's time now for the Battle of the Bands, and I'm not sure who's going first. I guess since South Carolina's the visitors, we're going to let South Carolina take it away. Time for the Battle of the Bands here at the Mid-South Coliseum. I think it was awesome. I was I was really impressed with us. They played the other band played first, and I thought, well, dang, maybe they brought their whole whole season right here. I mean, this is for real. But as soon as we played off, I was like, oh yeah, all right, let's do this. And it was just it was fun. It was absolutely fun.
you know, what was going through my mind was I love seeing kids engaged in an activity that's about positive uh, energy and tradition. They were all about their university. At that time, those kids were 100% representing their university and giving all they had to demonstrate their spirit and energy. That, now that's invigorating. Coolest experience ever. Um, you know, we, we got up there, we, we didn't know what to expect. It was just kind of like, go in and, uh, and you're gonna be playing. Okay. Um, you know, we weren't told when we were to play. We knew that the South Carolina band was gonna be there. We weren't sure whether we were supposed to trade off with them, whether we were gonna play all of our stuff, they were gonna play all their stuff. It was kind of a big mess going in, uh, which is okay because that's something we're used to. And uh, we're used to coming in and, and just doing our thing. Um, it was, an, it was an amazing experience because you know, during the year, we're used to being in situations where, where we've got to be spirited and, and whatnot. But you know, for the Battle of Bands, we had some fans there, but, but you know, that was a, for, that, for us, that was kind of a, a matter of pride, of being able to go in there and saying, hey, check it out. You know, um, we can play better than you. So uh, it, being up on the ladder and, and you know, getting the full force of, of all that sound, Right there, it was a, it was kind of a surreal experience. Like like our school, we have awesome athletes. In our band, we have awesome musicians. And even though we might not practice as much as all those other universities, we make things click. And it's really awesome to see what we can produce. <laughs> Those kids at South Carolina had a good time and our kids had a good time. John O'Quinn stood up in front of the band and conducted the fight song. You know, great alumnus of our school. Being up there in front of that group, uh, during rehearsal is, is amazing listening to these outstanding musicians perform, but when they get in a performance situation, they always kick it up a notch. And uh, I get lost in the moment a lot of, of just, um, you know, the spirit and energy is amazing. The way that they play is amazing. The way that the fans react to them is amazing. It's, it's an unbelievable experience. It's unbelievable. Of the parking lot. We go in on this side right over here. I think the most thing I was thinking is that I wanted this to be the day for the University of Houston. Um, I wanted the band and the cheerleaders and the dancers to really have this great energy and excitement representing their university at a nationally televised bowl. And I wanted the uh, success uh, for the students to uh, really generate an enthusiasm and a connection. The Liberty Bowl is, I mean, we had, it was a lot of fans, and the University of Houston fans did show up, and it was exciting. I, you know, I felt we were equally represented. We had great fan support, we were put together, but I still felt like maybe we were <clears throat> a little outnumbered, and, and regardless of whether we were or weren't at the Liberty Bowl, I didn't feel that way at all. We'd had pregame went great. Um, in the stands, everyone was real excited. Uh, yeah, we did our jobs. We did our jobs. The pre-game was wonderful, and I'll tell you why. You know, I really was hoping 
that the University of Houston fans would step up and when we go bump, bump, bump and everybody yells, go Cougs, we'd hear something. This is a big stadium. When we ran on that field and I heard the roar of the crowd and we started our traditional pregame and you could hear them chanting and yelling and spelling out Houston, are you kidding me? That's big time, that's the real thing. I'm getting excited about it right now, let's start football season. I'm ready to do it. And that's the traditional part, pregame is tradition. And it shouldn't change much over the next, you know, what, 100 years. I mean, think about those great bands that have their traditions and this band is developing that and is bringing back the great traditions. I think it was one of our best uh, pregame shows. Everybody was really excited. <clears throat> Everybody got into the atmosphere and couldn't even measure it. Everybody was just yelling, excited. Uh, nobody's, ever, <clears throat> nobody's ever been in a situation like this. All those kids were just absolutely excited. Oh, it was fun. I loved it. <laughs> uh, I thought it was awesome. Great exposure for the school, and it was going to be a good game. There's a, there's a sense of responsibility, especially at football games, knowing that, that the group you're standing in front of is, is at sometimes the one thing that's going to keep spirit and energy going during a football game. And, you know, sometimes, not all the time, and, and not a lot of the time because you're so excited, but every now and then it kind of kicks in and, you know, you get the feeling of, man, um, you know, this is, this, is, this is a big deal and this is, this is an important thing. And so, you know, going into that, you you kind of try to take it seriously, but a lot of it's just having fun. that in the very beginning all I want to do is know what the outcome is. I wanted to make sure we won and that uh, it was an exciting time. So, you know, I wake up in the morning, positive attitude, ready and excited, and, you know, wanting the students to have this moment uh, of history uh, for their uh, memories and uh, years to come. Stop here, third and goal, Cobb to throw. At the goal line, an easy touchdown. Mitchell looks to the end zone for Rice. Back corner. Caught. Touchdown. Function right now. Cobb is set up third down and two. The trap handle. Out the middle. Plenty of room. Jackie Battle. Touchdown. 42 yards. He's a short yard goal line guy. Isn't he your downhill runner there, Chris? Yeah, he got downhill on line, but he came out of the call to run the football. Boy, Dak there, he stuff is killing his program. Cobb looking for a big play before halftime. Finds a man open over the middle. Marshall down the sideline. For Stacey Bowles. Touchdown. Unbelievable. Second touchdown of the first half for Vincent Marshall. On the field for touchdown for him. Time score. The <laughs> highest scoring first half in AutoZone Liberty Bowl history. 28-27, Houston over South Carolina. Now we putting the putting the, the halftime show together, kind of trying to figure out, uh, you know, with with Mr. Burtman, uh, you know, he'd go, oh, you know, we we've got this and this and this. We had you know all these different halftime shows from the school year, 
and trying to piece together something that would fit in a very small time frame, uh, you know, cutting and pasting pregame up so it, it worked. Uh, that was a little bit of a challenge. And then not having very much rehearsal time. I, I think we had maybe uh, one or two rehearsals before we left and then one rehearsal at the bowl game. Um, you know, again, though, that's, that's one of the things that makes the spirit of Houston so great is, is we've got such great people that we can do that and we can, we can pull that off and, and uh, put a really good product on the field. It was a little bit of a challenge, but it's one we met really well. It was, it was probably the funnest. It had a real purpose to it. We weren't just there to waste time, kind of have fun, maybe get to know each other. We were there to show, show the world pretty much that U of H has a football team, U of H has a band, U of H has a program that works. And we went out there, we presented, we showed up, and we had fun doing it. It was a job, but it was a job to enjoy. Halftime, superb. Halftime, wonderful sounds, great energy. Audience seemed to really enjoy us. Uh, and uh, the only sad thing about halftime is that it wasn't on TV like LSU or Notre Dame was. And we're, you know, we're a great band. We should have had that opportunity. Same thing for South Carolina. I'll say that for them. But if this is, you know, but we deserved it. Our kids deserve it. The band's performance at the game was outstanding. You know, it was, yeah, I, I think it was one of the best halftime shows. I think it went fairly well, and I really enjoyed the halftime show, all the fireworks and different things going on. Jackie Bell, score, I told you, he's the man. Man, I told you it's gonna happen. In the point after. 45 yards away. It has plenty of leg, and this one is perfect. And that gives the Gamecocks the lead back. Mitchell looks downfield. Mo Brown, jump ball. Intercepted by Willie Gaston. The flea flicker not only doesn't fool Gaston, he's in perfect position, and he turns over. Carolina on this drive, sets up play action. Wide open at the 10-yard line, and walking into the end zone. Back to throw Mitchell. Under some pressure. Watch the home run. Caught. McKinley. Touchdown again. His second touchdown of the second half. That one for 40. He wanted to get the end zone. First and goal of the three. They trap up the middle. Battle. Touchdown. Well, there's the quick strike we talked about, almost as if they were listening to the two of you up here. Three wide receivers. It's an option. Ulrich. Two-point conversion. And we have a one-possession game with 542 to play. It's a four-man rush. Cobb finds Avery well shy of a first down. <laughs> to the near side, it's Marshall. And he's got players out in front. A safety defense is out there for South Carolina. They're waiting for Marshall to arrive where they have set up a wall, and that will do it. A wild AutoZone Liberty Bowl goes to South Carolina. The first as far as the football game goes, you know, I, I wish the score had turned out differently, but I know that our guys went out there, they left it all on the field. That the end of the first half with, with Jackie Battle, the famous Jackie Battle, breaking a uh, breaking a big run and then Vincent Marshall catching a pass on the sidelines and making a few guys miss and, and score where both teams were trading touchdowns. Probably the most exciting five minutes of football since I've been at U of H. And of course I wish, you know, we'd won. Uh, I'm sure that, you know, 
But I, I think the team and the band and the cheerleaders and the dancers and the fans represented this university. And I don't think we can complain about that. But I, I think we need to show the, a certain amount of respect and appreciation for the gentleman that took us there. We all too often get upset when we lose, and as we should, but we have to remember we were playing in the championship bowl of our conference. The case is those gentlemen took us there with their coach as their leader and the, the other coaches guiding them, and we got to be a part of that because of them. So as disappointed as I might have been in the game, it only took us all, and I mean everybody, about two hours to get over that to be proud of what those guys accomplished on all of our behalves. Even though the score says we lost, and everybody was kind of disappointed that we lost, when I got back to Houston, everybody was like, congratulations on the win. I was like, we, we lost. I'm like, no, you didn't. You guys went out there, and you played your hearts out. And it's true, we played an awesome game. And even though the score said we lost, I think we absolutely won the game. I have incredible kids. The University of Houston is an incredible place to be. It's disappointing, but it's been a wonderful season, and I know that they'll be back. The combination of, you know, it being a, it just being a band trip and, and the fun that you have on band trips, but then you know having a, a great parade with a lot of people to march in, a, a good party after the parade, uh, you know, a good time out on Beale Street. Um, and then a, an unbelievable experience at the, the football game the next day. It, it made for a pretty memorable trip. The band was great, and the dolls were great, and it's freezing on this bus. It was a great game. Everybody did a great job. We'll get them next year. <laughs> you know, we had a pretty good storm on the way back, which helped me sleep. So, uh, but I think, the, I think we did all right. Uh, it's, a, it's a long trip. It's not easy, but it, it certainly was worth it. I don't think we minded that at all. The greatest thing I'd have to say was seeing Jackie Bow score those two touchdowns. But uh, besides that, it was it was just awesome being out there, having a good time, uh, free ride up there, most of the time free food. And, you know, we should have been in the stands up there playing. We were down on the sidelines. We played the fight song anyway, did everything we were supposed to. Uh, but being right there, seeing all this stuff happening in front of you, having the players come up and, and high-five you afterwards, it was, man, it was a blast. Uh, the whole thing was a great experience. I wish the second half could have gone our way a little bit more, but um, that was a great moment for the University of Houston, and I was really proud to be a part of it. I wish... I think that was the appropriate way of, of getting back, you know, leaving right afterwards because uh, kids want to get home and, uh, you know, it was, you know, they want to day before New Year's Eve and do their thing, but uh, I think that all worked out. Trip home, <clears throat> it was a long, long trip home. Three days up there, wow, I was dead. Uh, most of the time we slept, but, you know, we can only sleep for like eight hours, so we woke up and there's still like eight hours left. So. I uh, just told stories again and we just talked about Jackie Battle and it was fun we had. Well, Matt, it's the end of our trip. Back in Houston. Memphis was pretty cool. I had fun with the band. The game was fun. It started out real good. Great game. Great bowl game. Uh, sucks that we lost. But the man, Jackie Battle, he did his job. I'll tell you what, it's just it's how the dice rolls. It's how the game's played. So next year, 
place for improvement, place for another good time. Go Cougs, baby. Go Cougs. All right, Mike, I'll catch you later.